What's up guys, in today's video we're going to show you how to get the MDB codes and set up a product map for your NIAX credit card reader. But before we do so, we have to go to our actual vending machine and buy each item so that the MDB code registers within the app. So as you can see, we do have our NIAX um, credit card reader here on our machine. We did install it. We didn't install. We didn't make a video installing the NIAX credit card reader. If you want to see videos about installing NIAX credit card readers, we've got two of them. We'll put them down in the description so you can uh, go ahead and click on that and watch on how to install your NIAX credit card reader. Then this is the steps you'll take in order to get the MDB codes and set up your product map. Now what I'm using, I'm actually using the NIAX um, credit card, whatever you want to call it. It's the, the, the card that comes with your initial card reader and you can use it to buy your own snacks or test your own devices. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through and vend each item. I'm going to stop at the, uh, start in the top row and work my way left to right. Then I'm going to go down to the next row, work my way left to right, so on and so forth until I get all the way to the bottom right. And I'm just going to do it in that order so I know exactly how it's going to go. So I go A1, A3, A5, B1, B3, B5, so on and so forth. Like I said, I'm just going to do every, I'm going to vend every one of them. So that way those MDB codes transfer into my NIAX app. And then we're going to go and get into the video. We're going to show you how to get those codes from the NIAX app. And we're going to show you how to program them into your NIAX back office to create your product map for your machine. And this is, this process is going to work for any vending machine that you've got a NIAX credit card reader on. So let's get into it guys. Enjoy the show. What's up guys, Matt here with Galaxy Games 843, back with another video. This is a video a lot of you have been asking about. Today we're going to talk about how to set up your product map, get your MDB codes, all that good stuff when using the NIAX credit card readers. So as you know, we just installed a NIAX credit card reader on our snack machine at the truck accessory shop. Um, we went through, we got all of our MDB codes by uh, vending each item. We didn't actually get the codes yet. We're going to do that just now. But we went through and we vended each item in order. And uh, I've kind of created, if you want to look at my screen here, I've kind of created a Excel spreadsheet of what that machine looks like. And each box represents one column or one tray, one row in the actual snack machine. So top row A1, A3, A5, B1, B3, B5, and so on and so forth. And I've got it labeled with what I have it in. What I need to do is set my PAR levels or figure out my PAR levels and my MDB codes. So I've got my PAR levels on a, on a piece of paper here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through and, um, well, actually, we're going to set the, the PAR levels separately. Um, but basically, all you need to do to get your PAR levels is go to your machine and count how many items can go in each row, and that's your PAR. Now, what we need to do is get the MDB code. So, as you know, I went and I vended all of those items. So, let's go over to, let's see, let's go to reports. No, let's go to operations, machines, and it's going to load up our machines here. All we're going to do, and... Let me just do this here. It'll be a little bit easier if I make this bigger. We're going to hit the search button. It's going to pop up all of our machines over here. The one we're focusing on is this new snack machine right here. So let's go to product map. And as you can see, there's a bunch of codes in here, MDB codes, and we don't know what's what. What we do know is that we've got zero through a bunch of numbers here and a bunch of numbers up here. Now, keep in mind too, um, a lot of these information, a lot of these numbers are going to be wrong. So they're going to be pulled in from um, some of some other machines and within our network. So next what I want to do is I want to go to reports and I want to go to my sales summary and all I want to look at is for today We'll go with cash. We'll click on view reports. I want to go by machine and let's look at Joe's truck snack right here Actually doesn't look like it's gonna show me the details. Oh, uh, where do I want to see the details at? Um, let's see here. I know it'll show it to us in our NIAX app. Let me see if there's another way to do this though. Sales analysis, maybe let's try that. Oh, we need to buy weekday this. Let's see if that'll work. Not really. Okay. All right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take a screenshot in the NIAX app so you can see exactly what I'm looking at. And this will make it a little bit easier too. It'll be easier to see. Uh, let's go to that snack machine. 
And let's go to the last sales. Here we go. Perfect. Now it's kind of funny because it is, um, it is actually showing MDB codes and items because it, it's trying to copy another machine. So let me take some screenshots here. Screenshot one. Screenshot two. And screenshot three. Okay. So I'm going to put these up on the screen as we work through this video. I know, I know you can't see it right now, but I'm going to put them up on the screen as we work through the video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on putting them here into this uh, Excel spreadsheet. So as you can see, we've, we've ended the very first thing, which was um, in the upper left right here. That was MDB code 110. Actually, no. Um, let's see. No, I'm, I'm, I'm incorrect. MDB code is zero. Uh, this one, the second one we vended was MDB code two. And this one, the third one was MDB code four right there. All right, next row, we go with MDB code 10 then MDB code 12 and MDB code 14. So you can start to see a pattern right as we get into it. Next row, MDB code 20, then 22, and then 24. So it looks like zero, two, and four in this case. All right, now we go down to the row D, which is where there's a bunch more. And this is gonna be, sorry for the uh, audio there, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. Next row, you can probably guess this is going to be 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. So the next row, can you guess what it's going to be in? If you guess the 50s, you might be correct. Let's see here. Yes, 50, 52, 54, perfect. All right, 50, 52, 54. All right, there we go. So there's our MDB codes. So now what we need to do is we need to go and build our product map in the uh, NIAX um, website. So here we are. So we're gonna go back to operations. We're gonna go to our machines. I'm gonna click search. It's going to display all, all of our machines over here on the side. The one we're working with today is Joe's Truck Snack. So that's the one we're going to work on. So we're going to go into the product map. And again, it's going to have all these extra things in here. But a lot of them we are not going to um, have set properly. So, you know, we've got some overlapping MDB codes. All this stuff in the, uh, the upper numbers, we're just going to go ahead and delete those. So let's go ahead and click on these and we're going to remove these all the way down because these are not part of our MDB codes and they're just honestly pulling from another machine or another database that's already on our account. And it's just trying to assume this is what we have, but this is not what we have in our machine. All right, so now that we got that done, let's go ahead and click on, let's see. Where is the delete? should be a delete here. Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, under map, we're going to go to remove selected bins. We're going to hit OK. It's going to remove those products from our, our product map. So now, once we're in here, we can slide back over. You can see we've got MDB code 0 down through 54. All right. So obviously, some of this stuff is incorrect. It's pulling from, it looks like what's our, our machine at the brewery. So not correct. So we're going to delete out these PA codes because those aren't for the same as this machine. All right, we're going to save that. So let's see, save, we're going to hit yes. Okay, so now we've got basically, we'll go back to the product map. 
and it's got our power levels, which are incorrect for this machine. It's got our, our names, which are incorrect. Um, our product group in this machine is all going to be snacks. So let's just go and change those all to snacks. And you can, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and hit tab. There we go. Let's just go ahead and copy that so it'll copy over. And we'll just work through each one of these. And honestly, guys, there may be an easier way to do this, but this is just the way I've always done it, and it always ends up working properly for me. So there, there might be some shortcuts you can take through this whole process, but again, this is just how I do it. So I'm going and I'm changing all of these items to snacks because these are all going to be categoried in our snacks product group. So we'll just keep going through this. Once we get this done, we will save it, and then we'll start doing the actual individual items, setting the par level, setting the, uh, the product names, all that good stuff. Couple more to go. Okay, we've got all those changed over to snacks. Let's go ahead and save it. Oh, it's going to make us put in names over here before we can save it. Okay. All right. No worries. Let's go ahead and do that. So right now, um, like I said, we're, we're just going to go through everything that's on this list and update everything. So right now, now remember, all of this is going to change as we progress through learning what works in this machine, what doesn't. Right now, this is apple pie, and that's no longer going to be a thing here. Oops, if I could type. So we'll tab that. All right. Next one is our goldfish. Let's do goldfish in here. Then we've got checks mix. So checks mix in this one. Okay. Then we've got pretzel in the next uh, the next code. And we we do have to fix our MDB codes here actually, um, because those are not right. So we've got zero, two, and four. Zero, two. Four, then 10, 12, 14. So we can delete these extra two right here. Uh, we're going to lose all of our work, aren't we? We're going to lose all of our work. I think we are. Let's see. Okay, no, we're good. All right, perfect. All right, so we've got 0, 2, and 4. Now we need to do 10, 12, and 14. So 10 is pretzel, 12 is uh, it's going to be original chips, and 14 is popcorn. So we'll do 10 is, what we say, pretzel. Then 12 is original chips. Man, I cannot type today. And then 14 is, what did we say that was? That's popcorn. Okay, those ones are in. Now we're gonna do 20, 22, and 24. So 20 is our mini cookies. 22 is famous Amos. And then 24, I think is Chex Mix. Oh, I'm sorry, Cheez-Its, yeah, Cheez-Its. We already did checks mix. Okay, next row is done. So we need to now do 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, so on and so forth. Okay, so um, in 30, it's right now it's blank, but I'm going to do gum. I think I'm going to do in that. So we'll just put gum for now. Then 31 should be starburst. Let's see here. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind my typing, guys. Put it down in the comments if you think my typing is funny. And while we're actually doing this, make sure you subscribe to Galaxy Games 843, guys. Um, you know, we're th this week we're, we're totally making so many videos. I'd hate for anyone to miss out on our videos. So make sure you subscribe to Galaxy Games 843 here on YouTube. We really appreciate it. Okay, there's Rice Krispie Treats. 
after that is going to be Skittles, M&Ms, and Crunch Bars. So let's put those in. Skittles. M&Ms is next. And then Crunch Bars. After Crunch Bars, we're going to go Snickers, Oreos, Trail Mix. Then we've got three rows of crackers, but one of them we're going to end up changing to granola bars. So we'll do two rows of crackers for now and the third row of granola bars. And we're going to, like I said, we're going to change that um, going forward. We're going to fit something else in one of those cracker rows. We're not going to do two rows of crackers. But for now, just to set it up, we're going to get it labeled at least. And then this one we'll do granola. Okay, so then all we need to do is in our last row, which is Takis, cheese doodles, and barbecue chips. So we've got three, we should have three left, we, but we don't, we, we're missing, we're missing MDB code here. What are we missing? 40, 41, we're missing 42. You see that? We're missing MDB code 42. So we're going to go to, da no, not dashboard, products map. We're going to go up here to map. We're going to add a bin. There we go. We're going to put MDB code 42 in there. We shouldn't have deleted that one. Let's see if it'll do it, if we can do it manually. Nope, we can't do it manually. All right. Um, hmm. Well, I don't like that. Apparently I shouldn't have deleted one of those, one of those codes. Um, Let's see. We'll make it nine for now, but we know that we have to, we know we have to do that the right way. So which one was it? Trail mix, 42. Okay, now uh, we'll fix that in a little bit. So let's go back down. So 43 is cracker one. So we'll change that to cracker one. 44 is cracker 2. 43, sorry, 45 is going to be granola. All right, we'll fix that later. We might have to actually vend it properly uh, from the machine to get that MDB code to pop up in here. Uh, we'll, see what, we'll see what happens. All right, so now we've got three left. One is Takis. This is going to be Takis. Then we've got... The, let's see what's next. Cheese doodles. And finally, barbecue chips. Okay, so now we've got all that in there. Let's go ahead and save it. Sometimes you can't have overlapping names with other um, items that are already in your in your inventory. So we're just going to put ones after them for now. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and save it. And now our product map is saved. And there we go. So now, obviously, it says we don't have any inventory, we don't have any par. Uh, we're going to we're going to fit all that in there. Um, let's see, where did our other one, here's our trail mix. Now let's see if we can make that MDB code properly, which is 45. Nope. 45. There we go. It's only showing one, one number. There we go. All right. Save it. Not 45, 42. We need 42. What am I thinking? 42. There we go. All right. Save it. Yes. It should auto appear in the proper column now. There it is. All right. All right. Now all we need to do is set our par levels and then actual our actual inventory. So I've got my par sheet here. And all I need to do is set my par levels for each thing. So for the very first one, it's 10. That's already good. That's 10. That's already 10. That's good. That's already 10. Pretzels are 12. 
Original chips are 12. Popcorn is 12. Mini cookies are 12. Famous Amos are 12. Cheez-Its are 12. Gum is going to be 24. Scroll down so we can see it better. All right, next is Starburst, also 24. Those are those skinny columns. Rice Krispie Treats are 18. Skittles, 18. M&M's, 18. Crunch Bar, 18. Snickers are 18. Oreo, 18. What else we got? Trail Mix, 18. Cracker, 1, 18. Cracker, 2, 18. Granola bars are going to be 18. And then finally, the last three Takis are 10. Cheese Doodles are 10. And Barbecue Chips are 10. Now that we got that, we'll save it one more time. It's going to say yes. Okay. So now everything is done in our product map. We've got everything set up. Our MDB codes are, are in. We've got our PARs all set. All we need to do now is set our actual inventory numbers. And I have my count. Now keep in mind too that things may have changed since from before when we actually took this count. And now because some we might have made some sales. So this might not be 100% accurate, but we're going to go with what we know. So um, on this, we got one apple pie. For M I'm sorry, not, not app, that's not apple pie. We'll fix that in a minute. Okay, apple pie right here. We know we got one of those. Goldfish, we have five. So we're going to change that to five. Chex Mix, we have six. Pretzels, we have seven. Original chips, we have zero of those. So we are out of stock on those. We were out. We didn't bring anything to stock up with uh, with that today. Mini cookies, we have 11. Famous Amos, we had 11 of those. Cheez-Its, we have, it says, I didn't mark it. So it says zero, but I know we had some in there. But I'm going to leave it at zero for now. Um, gum, we know we have zero. Starburst, we have... Nine. No, I'm sorry. My cheese its were nine, too. There we go. There's nine. Rice Krispie Treats, we have zero of those. Skittles, we have 13. M&M's, we have 14. Crunch Bars, we had 12. Snickers, we had seven. Scroll down. Oreo, we have 15. Trail Mix, we have 5. Cracker 1, we have 4. We had 5. We had 5 of those, even though those are still crackers right now. Talkies, we had 2, and the rest were 0. So we're going to save that. Yes. And that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We've built our product map. We got our MDB codes. We got everything situated. Now, when we go into our app, we're going to see everything real time as we should. All the names are in there. All the par levels are in there. Our inventory levels are in there. Everything's good to go. So I want to remind you guys, if you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe to Galaxy Games 843 here on YouTube. We would really appreciate your help growing the channel. Give us a thumbs up to like this video if you really enjoyed this video or got something from this video. We would appreciate that as well. But with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you're able to take something away. With that said, we're going to wrap it up, guys. So once again, this is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.